Welcome to the Ankbot tutorial, where I will teach you how to set up the flip command, a dice command, and a slots command so your viewers can gamble to their heart's content via the read rand line command. Now the first thing we're going to do before I start explaining what this all means is I want you to figure out where your Ankbot is installed. The way I managed to do this was to click the Windows file. I'm using Windows 10, it may be different on other systems. I went to all apps. I found, on cart, found the folder where Oncart is clicked where the documentation is, clicked more options, and found its file location. This is where you're going to want to stick any files you want Ankbot to read via the read ran line command. If they are not here, Ankbot is going to have trouble reading them, and you're going to bash your head against the wall trying to figure out why. Make sure all your files are in the proper location. But I will, get, I will reiterate that later. I want you to figure out where that was first, because that's one of the major troubleshooting issues people have had when they're messing, trying to make Ankbot work for them. Now, let's actually explain how we set this command up. How we set these gambling commands up so your viewers can throw away all their fake money. Now this command, I'm going to start off explaining the simplest one, which is called the flip command. The flip command basically represents a coin flip of heads or tails. Nothing too complicated. There are two options, there are two things that can happen. Now I've titled this, I've labeled this command exclamation point flip because that's, that's sort of the standard way of labeling it. It's a short, easy thing to type in. The permissions, this is what the permissions mean. I just, you can either have everyone do it, regulars do it, a subscriber, whatever. I just set it so everyone can do it. The CD represents the cooldown, so it's how often the command can be used in chat by everyone. I leave it at zero because I don't, if, I don't want someone to use it and then someone has to wait another 10 minutes to. But with user cooldown, I do set a user cooldown. This will stop this will stop viewers from spamming this in the chat. Right now I currently have it set so you can use the command once every 30 minutes, which I believe is fair. It may vary depending on your chat though. You may want it to be higher or lower. Whatever you feel is fit. It is an enabled command, so it means it'll your bot will run it in the chat. And it's set to be used in the chat. Now here's how I have it set up. I have it so I have dollar sign user flips a coin. What this basically means is, whoever types in the command flip, it'll put in their username rather than, rather than just someone flips the coin. It, it'll identify it specific to the user. And it'll also tag them in the Twitch chat. It's like, you flipped your coin and here's your results. So it goes, user flips a coin, and now we have the read ran line command. Which I'm sure is giving everyone a bunch of scary nightmares. It's really not that scary. What read ran line does is it takes a random, it takes a random line in a text file and spits it back and quote unquote reads it, and it'll spit it back out. It's not it's not really that difficult, but it can be it can there are ways it can be kind of tricky because either your file might not be in the right location for Ankbot to read it, or there might be a quote quotation issue with quotes. Yeah, quotation issue with quotes because it's gonna be with anything else. Anyway, I'm gonna pop up the coin flip command, and I'm gonna explain quickly how this simple one works. First thing we have is the add points parameter. This will this will add currency for users who flip a heads, or you can have it set up so it flips a tails. Basically, how add points works is you need to, you need to have these parameters inside the parentheses for it to recognize properly. First thing is the is it in quotes user that makes sure that the points get added to the proper user. The twenty five represents the lower bound of points that will can be added if if they get if they if the line gets read so it's an add points. So, at bare minimum, 25 currency will be added to this user's account. The high end, right here, so this is your lower end. This represents your higher end at 100. So the most points that can get added to a user's account will be 100. Oh, I've had it set up. You can change these to whatever you want. I just have left mine at these, for the, at these amounts for the time being. This is the command that's going to spit out that everyone's going to see. And it's, they flipped heads. Value Azurency has been added to their virtual wallet. Obviously, your currency can be different, and you can always adjust that. But what basically happens is I have it set so it's value. So since it be, can any, be anywhere between 25 and 100, the value will make sure people can see the exact amount of a currency that's been added to their wallet. And over here, we have the you gain nothing. This is basically needed for the add points just in case parameters aren't met. But with how I have it set up, this should never run. Basically, if this runs, something went wrong. Now, I'll explain the remove points command really quickly. It's set up very similarly to the first three commands. It affects the user, 
This is the low amount of currency they could lose. This is the high amount of currency they could lose. This is what spits out on the screen. They flip tails. They lost, they lost money. Or they lost their fake currency. And now the only two that are different are these ones over here. You don't have enough to flip. What this, what this decides is that whether if someone who doesn't have a lot of currency tries to flip the coin, let's say they have 10 of currency and, they, and the lo random line that gets red is this one, this will make sure they can't lose more. This will this will make sure that they can't flip the coin and lose more than they have. And the false command is also important for that, so it makes sure that users can't go below zero. That's one thing you have to be careful of. If you want it to go below zero, you can set it to true, but I don't want I don't want my viewers to go below zero because that's just I don't think that's a good idea. Cuz then you'll be stuck there for a while trying to build up to zero. It'll take you You'll fall into negative, but it'll be seen at zero. I don't recommend it, so make sure you put false here. Just so you can make sure that doesn't happen. Now, now that I've explained how the add and remove points command works, I want to point out one troubleshooting thing. I'm going to post these games. I'll post coin flip dice and slots as paste bins in the video description. But if you copy and paste these into Notepad, there is one issue you can run into. And that is regarding, you see these quotes here? If you copy paste them off a paste bin, sometimes the quotes just don't want to be read by Ankbot for no good reason. So here's a quick way to fix it if you are having this issue. Replace. If one of these quotes is giving you a problem, if you just cop just copy it, put it in the find the quotes, and what you would just want to do is type in or an actual quote. Just type in a regular quote and find and replace them all. If you are having that issue. A quick way to check to make sure you're to see if it's the quotes that are giving you the issue, if assuming you're just going to copy paste off of what I post in the video description, is to cut is to just cut the add and remove points, have gar, jar, jar, just jargon typed in, and see if read ran line can read those lines. If it can read those lines, it is 99% sure the issue you're having, as, assuming you're following this format, is that your quotes, the quotation marks are just being a headache. So find and replace, just type in a regular quote, and that should more, more than likely fix your issues. Now once you have these set up in a notepad just the way you want, you're going to want to click save. You are going, remember, you, remember where we set, remember our file location that we had before, where our documentation was? Make sure you save this there. Absolutely make sure you save this there, or otherwise Ankbot may have trouble reading it and It'll give you unnecessary headaches like it gave me when I was first trying to set this up. But since I have this already set up, I'm not going to save over this. Now, what I want now what you're gonna do is find where you have this set up. So get back to this file. You're gonna want to click properties. See its location? The quickest thing you can do is just copy your location. So use control C. And you can hit OK here. And then, and then now see this read ran line we were talking about a few minutes ago? What you're going to want to do is paste here. I'm not going to actually repaste here since I already have it, but this is what, this is what you're going to want to stick between your read ran line to make sure Ankbot can actually access this file to read it. And with that, you have the command set up. So let's show it off real quick. Let's take it back to streamer. I'm not a bot. So if you type in flip, It'll run your command. See the user has been replaced by my username. Azure Yoshi flips a coin, and I flipped heads. So I gain have 70 Azure and has been added to my virtual wallet. If you check in the mini game system or the currency system, you'll be able to see that 70 has actually been added. Now there are other other mini games you can set up too. One I have set up is a dice command. Dice command you can tell I've set up in a very the format just right here is very, very similar, where I just roll two dice instead of flipping a coin. And if you look at and if you look at the the notepad file, you can see although it looks looks a little bit more, I've written a little bit more. It is set up exactly the same way. It's just done 36 times to account for every combination rather than two. So it's not that diff it's not really that different from the flip command. Once you understand how the add point remove points parameters work. I have this set up so if you roll evens you have currency added to your wall. If you roll odds you have it lost. You can tweak it in other manners so 
feel free to experiment. This is just how I have it personally set up. Again, dice is incredibly similar to flip. It's not, you just follow the same process as before. If you're having issues, again, remember to change your quotes, make sure your file location's right. And I'll show off how a dice works. It's a very similar process. Azuri Yoshi rolls two dice and they rolled evens. 63 Azuri has been added to their virtual wallet. So I, I've, I've won twice this time, which is great. All my, I've got all the fake currency I want, even though it's my channel. <laughs> the last one I'm going to want to show off is the slots command. The slots command is a little bit trickier, but I've, I believe I've managed to get it set up so it should work. I had it set up so user, user had spent a to, 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 to like, I don't know, what do I want to say? What's the word? Pull the slots, pull the slot machine so it works. But I noticed I had to put it into two lines. And if someone didn't have enough Azurancy, they wouldn't necessarily be able to run it. They would be able to run it despite not having enough Azurancy, so I had to tweak it a little bit. Anyway, I'll show off I'll show off my my notepad document I've got here. As you can see, there are sixty four there's sixty four lines and only four winning. You can obviously tweak it if you want to have more more chances to win. I only have chances to win if they manage to get three emotes that match. That's how I have it set up. That's what these Mr. Destructoids, Kappas, it's they're just Twitch emotes. I just figured it's a it's a more visual way to do it. It's a fun way to do it, I believe. And I have it set up so they win a lot if they manage to win, but otherwise the odds are not in their favor. I mean, obviously, you can tweak that to how you find fit. And you can tw and if you want to change the emojis or change value azurency, here's a quick way to do if you use the hang on. Use the replace command. Now, if you find a currency, let's just say you want to replace it with currency, you can do that and just replace all. That'll save you a lot of time setting it up specific to your channel. If you, if you do choose to use the paste bin available to you. But yeah, the only real issue with this command set up with slots is that I wasn't able to get remove points and add points to work at the same time. So if they win, they just get straight to add points. But as far as I'm concerned, that's not that big of a deal. Anyway, let's show off how add points works. Or, uh, not add points, slots. As you can see, I paid 10 Azurancy to play the slots, and I got a Mr. Destructoid, Babel Thump, Mr. Destructoid. And I won nothing. Now, this is just a flaw, flaw with Ankbot. You can't actually see, see the Twitch emotes here, but... If you're in the Twitch chat, you can see that you have actual Twitch emotes that are lining up attempting to do the slots. Now, that's basically all I wanted to explain with just these slots, with the slots and dice and flip command. Again, I'll have, I will have paste bins in the description below if you want to take advantage of those. Again, make sure your quotes are right and your file location is the same and you shouldn't have any issues. So have fun getting your chat to gamble. It'll be a lot of fun. They will, they will get addicted very, very quickly. <laughs> as, I have, as I have experienced. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, like and comment. And if you want to gamble or do more with all the other fun things, my channel, feel free to follow at twitch.tv slash Yoshi. We do fun, I, pl I play fun stuff. I only play the best now. I'm not going to start saying that. If you guys have any other interest in any other Ankbot tutorials, feel free to let me know. I can, I can post, I can do other ones since I've spent a lot of time trying to figure, make Ankbot work how I want it to. So, thanks so much for watching and I'll... Hopefully see you guys soon. Bye-bye.